Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to make a no-bake lemonade cheesecake with some blueberry swirl. And so to start it off we need to make our blueberry syrup so it can have time to cool. So I'm adding one cup of fresh blueberries or you can use frozen. And I'm going to turn my heat on medium. I'm going to add one fourth cup of sugar and one third cup of water and two teaspoons of lemon juice. We're going to bring this up to the bowl and let it simmer gently for around five or six minutes. All right, mine's been simmering for 10 minutes. You don't want to walk away from this. You do want to keep it stirred. So in my bowl, I have one teaspoon of cornstarch with one teaspoon of water. We're going to add that to let it thicken it up. We need to let this simmer for about a minute. And now over a bowl, I have my strainer. And I'm going to... And all I want is the syrup. I don't want the pulp or anything. And just press it through. And now we need to let this sit and cool. You can even put it in your refrigerator to cool. All right, now it's time to make our crust. You can make whatever crust that you like, or even you can buy a pre-made graham cracker crust. So I just have some disposable pie plates. And in my bowl, I have one and one-fourth cup of graham cracker crumbs, one-fourth cup of sugar, I'm going to give that a little mix. And I have five tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, once you get your butter and all good and mixed in, just add your crumb mixture to your pie plate. And I use a spoon, back of a spoon and just press it out. Once you get your pie shell like you like it, we need to put this in the refrigerator to chill at least for an hour. Now on to our cheesecake part. First we need to whip up our cream. So I have one and one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. And it's best when you're whipping up cream if your bowl is cold and your beater blades is cold. Now I'm going to add just a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Like the way I measured that. <laughs> and two tablespoons of powdered sugar. And now we just want to beat this till it starts to form firm peaks. You don't want to over beat it because it'll turn to butter. Alright, that looks good. So now I'm just going to set this in the refrigerator and move on to the next step. Alright, in my bowl, and I'm just using the same beater blades. I'm not going to wash them or anything. I have 8 ounces, an 8 ounce brick, a very softened cream cheese, and I'm going to add one third cup of milk, just regular milk. And we're going to mix this till it's real smooth and creamy. You want to make sure you stop and scrape down the bowl and then keep mixing it. We don't want any, we don't want any cream cheese lumps in it. Alright, to make this a lemonade cheesecake, I use the flavor packets that you get that you pour in your water. So I just keep a whole box of this around. And I use, you can use how many packets that you like. And I've tried making it with like the Kool-Aid and stuff. That just don't work too good. So it's just one of the single serve packages that I take out of this box. Now I may add two packets. It's according on how lemony, how, it's according on how lemony, how do you say? It's according on 
how much lemon taste you want. So we'll start with one, mix that in, taste it, and then go from there. And now remember, you're going to be adding sweetened cream to this. So I'm just using my clean fingers. Okay, that's pretty good. It's got a tart kick to it. So I'm going to add another packet. And I'm also going to add a few drops of just some yellow food coloring. Sometimes in the springtime, if we're going somewhere, I'll make this and make it pink or, you know, a pastel green or blue just to make it real pretty for springtime colors. Okay, I want to scrape down my bowl. I'm using a different finger to taste with. All right, that's mixed in good. And I have tried making this with lemon extract and everything, but those packets just seem to be the best. And now I'm going to add back in our whipped cream. I'm not going to add it all because I want to save some to pop on top. Alright, I'm leaving maybe almost a half of a cup, if that much. And you just want to fold this in. And if you don't want to use, if you don't want to whip up your own cream, you can also just add a container of the frozen whipped topping. I would just add an 8 ounce container. And we can even use our mixer just for a little bit. Now we don't want to over whip this now to blend it in just a little bit better. That's good. It only went for maybe 15, 20 seconds. Now we can taste it again. It's really good and really tart. But that's the way we like it. If you don't like it that tart, only add one of the little bitty packets. And now to add our blueberry syrup, I'm going to do an in the pot swirl, as soapers would say. Because my pie dish is not really deep, and so it will be hard for me to swirl it in just this shallow pie dish. Now I'm not going to use it all. I'm going to save just a little bit to make a pretty design on top. So just kind of drizzle it in and I'm saving about a tablespoon for the top. You don't really want to mix it much here. Just kind of fold it over a few times. Now to pour it in our pie shell. Now we can try it with the blueberries mixed in with it. So good. Now just drop little drops on top of your pie. doesn't have to be real perfect and now just take your toothpick or a skewer and just start swirling it in and with my little bit of leftover whipped topping I just took a sandwich bag and put a tip in there. You don't have to do that. You can just cut a hole in there. And just going to pipe just an edge of cream around it. And there you go. This needs to chill for several hours before you cut into it. And if you had some more fresh blueberries, you could put it around the top. Stick it in where you have your whipped cream. And I'll be back in a few hours for us to cut a slice and try it. But I've done been trying it, what was left over on the spatula. <laughs> Alright, it's time to try a slice of our pie. 
This is delicious. And it's good and tart. I just love it. And the blueberry syrup's real good too. If you give this pie a try, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to hit notifications so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all. You want to make sure you... Alright, that's good. It only went just for me. Please stop for a minute. Okay, Richard, whatever you need to do.